<laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, everyone? Come on in and join me. This is the energy focus for the week. Hey, Regina, how are you? What is going on? Come on in and join me. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you're here. I just finished my Reiki Master Training. I am so hot. I'm so alive and on fire with energy. Oh my gosh, what an amazing, amazing, amazing weekend. So just checking out, making sure I have everything online. Hey, beautiful. Hey, Leah. Come on in and join me. We're going to talk a little bit about what's been going on. Let me know you're here. Hey, hey, super excited about the Reiki Master class. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Congratulations to all my new Reiki Masters. Yes, welcome to the world. Andy Carroll, you're over here on Facebook. Congratulations. Yes, Lisa Williams, Bo Andrews, Summer Lee, Rhonda White. Oh my gosh, help me, Lisa Williams, Camille, Camille Underwood, and Annie Monroe. I think I got everybody in there. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so excited. You can tell I'm all supercharged. I love teaching. I love putting this work out there. I love listening to the students and all the many things they want to do. So inspiring. Yay, Birmingham. Yay online, yay for all the things that Reiki can help us do and get this work out into the world. We need it, we need it, we need it. They took the opportunity to go deep within, to open up to bigger purposes. Yay, congratulations all over here coming in. It just makes me so excited. It's not easy, but on the other hand, it's so great. It's so inspiring to do this work, to bring it out into the world. Hello, Monique. Hello, Millie. Really amazing. What a great weekend. We were supposed to be in the mountains of North Carolina, and we ended up at Practice Works. We had so much fun, and the food was good. The ice cream, big spoon, big spoon creamery, what a treat. Everybody really loved that. Popsicles, Harvest Moon, Wild Ginger, everybody was there. We had such a great weekend. Learning, working, learning to work with Reiki on Zoom as well, and it works. Everybody is having amazing experiences sending energy they were in one room the other in the other room through zoom through online really amazing hey paul yes everybody missed you we talked about you yay in a good way of course ha <sighs> so let's take all this raw wild amazing high vibration energy and let's just pull it in take a nice deep inhale with me and we'll begin i'm over here on facebook instagram and in the empowered spirit circle so wherever you are come on in and join me so let's begin. Welcome everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for the Empowered Spirit Show, where I come on live. We look at the energy, the cosmic forces. We take a moment to align our energy, set some intentions for the week, and we look at the cards as well. So there is definitely a lot going on in the cosmos this week. For sure, we were just in that full moon eclipse Friday night, Saturday. Even today, we're starting now to release some of that energy. Let it go. Eclipses are always about shaking up the energy and really what the unknown is many times. It's like what is hidden all of a sudden comes out and around. All right. It wasn't a full eclipse here, but it still opened those doors for the eclipse season. So we have another one coming in on the solstice and another one coming in on July 4th slash 5th, somewhere in there, the birthday of America, right? Big changes, big shifts. All the planets are starting to shift up even the retrograde planets right now we're sitting there with that venus retrograde which is causing us all hello to look at the relationships that we have we have a little bit more longer with that and then we have mercury that'll switch it up and go retrograde as well we have a lot of energy with mars moving very fast through many of the signs mars is our fire energy that war energy can we feel it <laughs> or what so much going on in the world so many things so my my voice is we do need to stand up for what we need to see change and shift. But do it with peace, do it with consciousness, do it with compassion for each other. I'm for it, but not through violence. And a lot of the violence that's coming in is not even people of our community. So beware and know that when you go and you stand up for what you have to say, do it from the heart. We definitely need to see these changes, right? There's the, the mem going around from my daughter. Thank you, Marissa. My daughter, thank you for all your help, too. But about what if 2020 isn't a mistake? What if this is the year that we push through those changes? How inspiring. What are the changes you want to see? 
All right. And the theme of this month, I think I heard from the power path, the theme of this month, and I totally agree, is keep the energy moving. Keep the energy moving. Don't go too fast. All right. Don't be that Mars energy because that's going to be moving a lot of stuff. But just keep moving through stuff. Don't allow yourself to get stuck in any one particular thing. All right. If you have new ideas and you're doing new work, that's great. Just keep moving. Don't allow your mind to get too focused on one thing and bog down your energy and pull you down. Allow yourself just to keep moving through. Get inspired. Stand up for what you believe. Talk about what you believe. All right. Don't push your opinions on others. Don't judge others for theirs. Let everybody kind of do the work that they need to do. Because first and foremost, it starts with us. It starts with the individual energy within us. All right. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of the collective come forward. We have a lot of switching up to do these next few months. Eclipse seasons, that full moon energy coming in. We're going to move all the way through this. We're going to feel it all the way up until that new moon that comes in on the solstice, right on the solstice time. We're going to be feeling a lot of that energy. All right, as we move through this week, we're going to be kind of starting to release a little bit of that energy. All right, we're going to start to feel that. We're going to move a little bit into the Capricorn energy, which will help to ground the energy. All right, we're going to then get into the Aquarius energy, which is going to help us to expand the consciousness. But we've still got the energy of the nodes working at us because they've really just shifted. So we're going to be looking again at what is your comfort zone. I keep talking about this. They sound like a broken record, right? But what is your comfort zone and what is your passion? And now is the time to take the steps to get into a better place for you. And maybe you don't know exactly what that is. I don't, I have, I'm in kind of that same situation, so I'm going to just keep trying. And one of the things that the medicine wheel has taught me and that I like to talk about is that course correct. We are talking about that in class today. We try a few things. All right, maybe it doesn't work. Then you just kind of tweak it. You kind of move that rock just a little bit. Course correct. Doesn't mean all your efforts have been wasted. And that can help you to not get so overwhelmed. All right, I know I'm one of those that like gets the idea. I want it done. I want to get right there. It's like, why aren't my vegetables grown yet, right? No, with this kind of concept, you can start, take a little bit, step back. Okay, take a little bit more. Oh, let me step back. Let me tweak it a little bit so that you can find that new way of working and being and being in that purpose with you all right i got a lot of hearts over here yay you are in agreement as well all right now about june 18th so not this week but the week after mercury's going to go retrograde however we are already in the shadow of it going all right and that's our communication that's that energy of mercury that that like you know that the way in which we talk and speak and and communicate with each other so we're going to have to kind of pull back in We always talk about with Mercury retrograde, especially redo, review, renew, and that's kind of what we've been doing. So maybe it is a good opportunity to go back to, you know, a little bit of where you were before the COVID started and where you are now, that will help you know where those next steps are coming. So we can use that Mercury retrograde energy wisely. And then right after that, we go into that next eclipse. Another, it's a new moon, it's in Cancer. Hello, I'm a Cancer, right? That's that emotional energy, the intuitive energy. So really, you can use that energy as well to open up to your intuition. You really can. That's how you can open up and grow bigger instead of fighting it and being too much in the logical mind. You can work on the other side of the brain. All right? That you can do. Hey, Barbara, how are you? That you can do as well. So it's a good time to start making these switches, to making these changes, and to using the energy in your best interest. All right? The Calyp season is going to show you so many different things. So if you can slow down and pull it in and work with the energy, there's so much you can learn. There's so much that you can grow from. And summer energy is coming, all right? So spring's when you plant the seeds. Then as we shift with the medicine wheel, summer is where you do have to have the patience to sit back, to let things grow, to let that wild woman, all right? I always love to talk about that, right, Barbara? Talk about that wild woman energy coming forward in summer so that you can see it. And it's also a time about fun and playing enjoy all right we're also serious lately right i mean i know i have been with everything going on and everything it's like take a deep breath breathe a different way all right give a shout out to michelle holmes and do a little breathing work with her and it's like amazing a different kind of breath and just opening up and just reminding us every breath matters your breath counts your voice counts all right you can breathe and be a part of the collective of what is going on right now. There's so many possibilities to join into this energy and move through it. All right, so as we go through this week, keep it moving. 
Don't let yourself get stuck. Make sure that you really get out there and work with Mother Earth. Still the best lesson ever. All right, ready to be that wild woman, right? I so agree as well. Working on it, working on it. All right? So even though there is a lot of, of instability and a lot of unpredict, unpredictable energy going on, let yourself be the foundation. Let yourself be what you ground in. Ground with Mother Earth. Ask yourself the questions. Sit with some meditation, some breaths. Journal. Journal will help you get it out of here and start to put it into action. That's the law of attraction. You have that inspiration. You put it out on paper and then you start to put it into motion. And that's where you start attracting all of those many things. All right. Actually interviewing tomorrow, Ben Vereen. He made some new movie out calling How Thoughts Become Things. This is how we do it. I've already previewed the movie. Not that I haven't been practicing myself, but it's going to be a great podcast. The podcast will be back. I took a couple of weeks just to let all the energy upgrade. And also I'll give you a little sneak peek, a little sneak information. I will be starting a free boot camp in the Empowered Spirit Circle every day coming on live, talking about how do you process your energy, how to be a master to your energy, talking about what is your clair. All right, going to be giving away these tools, giving away these secrets for you to learn. You can come into the Empowered Spirit Circle. I will send lots of information. Just a little side note, go ahead and put the seed of energy out there. It's going to happen on the summer solstice. We're going to open it up. All right? So it is a time to learn to know more and more about your energy. All right, live to love. I already talked about you. Camille just joined us. Congratulations. Another Reiki master. Yay, I'm super happy. A is over here on Facebook. All right, I see you guys coming in. All right, so let's just take a moment and harness this energy. Start to let go of the week and prepare for the week ahead. So wherever you are, if you can... Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Call back your energy from the week, from the weekend. Call in your higher self. And again, to feel that alignment coming in for you. Feel that higher self coming in, pull in your spiritual body right on top of the physical body. And then take a nice deep inhale, bringing it up the spine. And exhale, sending it back down. Just pull your aura in, pull your energy in. And then as you exhale on that next breath, let go of whatever it is. Energy follows intention. Let go of any of that excess energy from the clips, from the full moon, from the emotional body. And just call in your energy. Energy follows intention. Call it in. Take another deep inhale up the body. And exhale. Send the excess energy down deep into the earth. Begin to feel yourself grounding, calming. Energy follows intention. And that's what these full moons now. We're coming to the release. Release out anything you want to let go of. Sometimes we have to keep reinforcing it and keep building those pathways, but we have to start somewhere. So start with letting it go. Imagine, pretend, visualize those emotions leaving the body. And as you do, you'll notice that third chakra area gets tighter. You feel more centered. And then take another deep inhale up the body. And exhale, send it back down deep into the earth. Let's just take a moment. And honor where we are right here. Honor the many blessings. Yes, there are struggles in the world. Yes, we're all shifting. But honor the blessings that you do have right now. As we take this time and honor the very end of this spring season. Those new seeds are being planted. Soon we'll be watching them grow. So we honor this direction of the east, which is the direction of the spring where the sun rises. We have that hope each and every day to open up. We call in to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center, calling in, setting that intention with your spirit. Feel that alignment. What is that intention for you? See it right here in that third eye center. Imagine, pretend, visualize, see it. And as you see it, see it coming in. And as it comes in for you, how will you feel? How will you feel the peace, the love, the joy, 
the abundance, whatever it is for you. And allow those elevated emotions, those are high, nice, high vibrations. Allow those energies to rise for you. And then imagine just sending it out into the auric field. Send it out. Hold that vibration, let go of the attachment. Hold that vibration for your intentions for this week. Let them guide you. Let that energy guide you. All the things that need to be attracted into your life. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Stay in the vibration. And as you're ready, bring the awareness back, feeling a shift, feeling a little grounded energy for you. I haven't drawn the cards yet. I'm going to draw them now together. We'll see what comes up. So the focus for all of us using the wild unknown, the magician, yes, you are the magician of your life. You have the elements that you need. We have each of the four suits here. We have the elements. We have the, the, the cups. We have the pentacles. We have the swords. We have the wands. We have everything we need right there at your hands to bring it into the physical form, all right? Kind of what we were talking about, the laws of attraction. Look how he looks to the other side. Like, that's confidence. I've got this, right? You've got this. You've got this, all right? Reiki masters, we were talking about it today. You've got this. Be in your spirit. You'll get it. Major Arcana, great way for us to start this week out. Now, how can we do it? One, two, and three. All right. I knew it was going to come up at some point, the tower. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And I've yet to draw it in these last several weeks, the tower. So when we turn over the tower, another major card, that means things are coming down. We know this. Hello. This is not a surprise. Sometimes it will come as a surprise, right? This is confirmation from the universe that things are coming down. I think that's a good thing. It means there's movement happening. We can't stay the way we were, all right? So this is the energy that let it go. Don't hold on too tight. We hold on so tight, we can't have any movement. We want to keep moving because out of that, new beginnings, new energy comes forward. We got the death card too. Oh my gosh, all right? That's that shedding the skin. So not only are the structures coming down, your skin is changing too. And so this can be uncomfortable for many people. All right, this is where you can feel the rawness of it. I know I've been in that energy too. I switched my studio, right? I can feel that too. There's like a raw skin. So it makes you like, did I do the right thing? Did you start second guessing? Don't second guess. All right, getting so many hearts over here. Know that this is a good thing because then you can emerge. All right, that's like moving from the comfort into your new purpose. Great card that follows this. Structures are coming down. So is the shifting in your life. You're developing a new skin. All right, and then as we do, this is beautiful. This is the six of pentacles. This is showing new growth. And community, generally sixes are about community. So as we work together to build a new community, how beautiful is that? So where can you take this into your life this week? Where can you take this energy of, I am the magician. All right, for my uh, Reiki masters, look at this. The infinity is there. All right, Camille, hey, look at that. Tell Rhonda, there's that infinity. We kept seeing this. How great, right there at the chest. You're the magician of your life. The stru <laughs> Okay, calm the energy, right? The, the tower card, give me a thumbs up for that one. The tower card, the structures are coming down. You're shedding a new skin. It's okay. The universe is saying we are okay with that. All right, do the work. Do the work. And then the blossoms will grow, the community will grow, and we will flourish all right so depending on what card you draw if you didn't you could take the whole story but maybe you drew a one two or three that's the area that will need the most work or that's the area that might resonate more with you so really beautiful cards of transformation all right as the eclipse season opens as we move from one season into the other beautiful cards for all of us so don't be afraid of change don't be afraid of it it will feel raw that's why we come back to ground put your feet in the earth Look at those little plants, all right? Hey, I planted my two plants tonight. Look at the way that things grow. When they open up, it's raw for them, but then they turn into such beautiful, beautiful vegetables and herbs, all right? So take a nice deep inhale. Let me know how that resonates. Got tons of hearts over here. If you'd like me to choose a card just for you tonight, I can do that. Actually, whatever cards we choose is for everybody. 
So let's see. No podcast this week to talk about. If you didn't hear Christy Whitman, go back. Let me tell you, Laws of Attraction, great suggestions. And then I will be back next week with talking about this great movie coming out, How Thoughts Become Things. I will be talking about my boot camp that will be coming up and how you can join and be a part of it. Free offering. All right, Marissa, she will take a card. All right, Regina, too. Regina, how you been feeling? I saw your post. Congratulations off the list. That is just awesome. All right. So, Marissa, you got the devil card, and it was it was um, upside down. So, underneath the surface, all right? Underneath the surface, the devil card is self-sabotage. How funny. What were we talking about? All right? So, this is just looking at those patterns and breaking those patterns, all right? And knowing that you can do it, all right? Knowing that you can turn this over, all right? What can I say? It came forward. All right. Then... Regina, Regina, we got the Four of Cups. All right, so the Four of Cups is that gratitude card. When it comes up, it's like merely being grateful, going into the emotions, going into the heart. Even when we're in struggle, don't forget to offer the gratitude for what you do have. And it's of the emotional energy. It's the cards. Like, don't be a rat, right? Really appreciate all of that energy. Also, too, lots of times fours can remind you to come into balance, to rest, all right? Rest, rest the emotions, all right? Let's see, attitude, how you been? We got the four of wands, all right? This is also, too, the fours come, the fours come together to show you things are working, things are coming together, but it's also asking you to go in deeper, all right? Look at that right there, go into deeper. Go into that third eye center, go into the passions, go into your spiritual practice, all right? That, that cancer energy is coming forward, and that's a great time to do that. All right, Leah. Leo, we got the five of wands, and this is a card that makes us feel like things are just up in the air, all right? And that's okay, because then things will come back down into alignment, because really, if you looked at the card, the way she does this in her depiction here is the lines behind it are her order, but the rods are up in the air, so that could be a little bit of your purpose changing too, all right? It could be that as well, all right? Let me see over here. Anybody over here? Millie. Millie would like a card. Ray. Monique. Oh, I know, Monique. It's been a long time. Millie, son of pentacles. It was reversed, though. So this is about that, that work of just, like, doing your work, being methodical in what you're doing, being grounded with the earth. But the part of this that I always like to remind people is, like, be sure to lift your head. Look how his head is down. Like, be sure to lift your head up and get the bigger picture. Come back and do the work, all right? And sometimes that male energy can be a little stubborn, so don't get too tunnel-focused, all right? But it is a good card for getting work done. Raylene, how have you been? Raylene, you got the father of wands, all right? This is that entrepreneurial, passionate spirit, that shaman energy, the psychic energy. Whenever we see that transformation, look at the snake, look at the red bolt, all right? And wands, again, is our passions and desires. So it's kind of like top of the kingdom there. So it's like opening up to those passions and desires. Know that you can bring in whatever it is. And with a lightning bolt, that always suggests like quickly, all right? Like an aha, this is how it is. Calypse seasons are known to bring that forward as well. All right, Monique, we got the mother of pentacles. We're getting a lot of family cards here. The mother of pentacles, and it was upside down as well. So this card is to remind you to really nurture all right, and nurture is like being grounded with the earth, nurturing those around you, but also nurturing your own work. Pentacles is our work. So even though we care for others, don't forget about you. All right, look how that head is up there. Don't forget about you as well. And nurture the work that you're doing. And again, it's a grounding earth business work card. Really good and really, really gentle and nurturing. All right. Liz, all right, we have a card for you, the Nine of Wands. All right, so this card is all about keep doing what you're doing. The passion is working. Now, it was reversed, so you may not feel like you're getting anywhere, but you're working towards your passions. The intuitive energy is coming forward. Nines always represent like there's a little more to go, all right? So keep going. It's not a completion yet. All right, Janet, Wheel of Fortune. All right, I love the Wheel of Fortune. It always reminds us for our gratitude of our life and that things are always changing. It looks in this card, she makes it look like it's a little chaotic, but there is a little method to her madness, all right? You've got the owl and the moon. You've got the moon and the sun, and it's almost like a dream finder in there. So the wheel of fortune is always first and foremost gratitude for where we are because, as we know, the wheel turns when we're on top, and then gratitude for where we are, the wheel turns if we're on the bottom, and it keeps moving. So kind of the theme of the month is to keep moving and recognize the world does want to help you out, okay? It wants to keep that moving for you. So don't allow yourself to get stuck in what you're doing. All right, Millie says, thanks. Monique says, yes, it resonates. All right. 
Melissa Dawn, here this card is for you. Melissa, you got the Fool card. So this generally comes right before the Magician. This is having the courage to take that next step. So maybe there's something that you're working on, all right? And so it's like, don't be afraid to take that next step. We never know. Sometimes we think it's a really big thing, and it's just a little bitty step. So be brave, trust. I don't mean foolish, foolish. It means just have the innocence of that, okay? So be responsible in what you're doing, but... Look, look at that little chick. It's fresh. It's raw. That's kind of what I was talking about with, the, with that skin being raw. It may feel more intense for you, but allow yourself to, to trust. All right? It's the beginning of the journey. And the zero for this card, it's a major account. It's the beginning of a journey. So perhaps some of the changes you've been through with COVID, you're coming out now, and you have some better ideas of where you want to go. Take the opportunity to do it. Yeah, I know, Marissa, the devil card. What are you going to do? But it just kind of confirms the work. There's Lisa. Congratulations. Lisa showed up. Congratulations. Another Reiki master here. Great work. There she is. Lisa Williams. All right. Yay. All right. So let me know how those cards resonated with you. Sometimes when cards come up and they're kind of intense, like it just allows us to look at it and figure out how we want to do it. They're never predictive. They're only suggestions and how you can work with your energy. All right, waiting been been wonderful. I felt my best. I'm learning, constantly learning and growing. This card resonates with me so much. Thank you. Yes, I love listening to your podcast. Yes, thank you for recommending it to others. Absolutely, totally appreciate it. I will be back. I've got some great guests. I've actually got the Vedic Astrology coming on. Um, she agreed to come on with um, Carrie. Carrie is her name. She is from Anushri. She does great. She does tarot and things. I'm so excited to have her on. I posted one of her articles in the Empowered Spirit group just recently. All right, Melissa says, I, I so feel this, just separated from my husband last month and I'm in a new raw skin that is slightly uncomfortable. Yes, I hear you, I've been there, I know what it feels like, so be strong in what you're doing, all right? Be strong and keep going, all right? And it does feel raw, that is okay. I have definitely been there, I remember what it feels like. Use your spiritual energy to help you get through, okay? Use the meditation, use your breath, all right? Not sure if you did for me, you said for Liz. Um, okay, maybe not. LK, okay, 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 you got the Four of Cups. Now, the inter interesting thing about this card is it's always hard to tell which side is up and which side is down. So it always reminds us, as above, so below. So two ways of looking this. With the Cups and the Hearts, that's the emotional energy. That's the generation, the roots from where you come from. Don't forget the importance as you stand strong. And then the other way of looking at it is as you plant the roots deep, you can stand strong. All right? So whichever way you want to look at it, but it is the generational energy. It's the roots of where we come from, the heart energy, and the ability to open up and grow. All right? That's a great card as well. Yes, have an amazing week as well. Thanks so much. How to book a one-on-one. -on -one. You can go into my, um, thanks for asking, you can go into my bio on Instagram, and there's some links in there for you. All right, I do tons of work virtual, more and more ever so. That was actually part of our training today, working on Zoom and how to do sessions on Zoom. So effective, it really is, definitely. Yes, Regina, you two understand each other. I totally understand. I've been there too. But now is the time to start building that practice for you, to start building that confidence, to empower your spirit. Yes, I'm so behind you on each of those. All right, everybody. Crazy week. You can tell my energy is up there. I'm definitely going to go ground. I'm going to take a little salt bath and ease into the evening. Look for more energy coming. I'm so excited to be sharing this boot camp. We need it. I'm dedicated to helping others learn this kind of work and use your intuition all for the highest good. Again, thank you so much to the Reiki Masters, the students that went through it this weekend. How empowering. I'm so excited to be part of the journey as well. Total narcissistic relationship and you're probably an empath. Yes. Yes, you're feeling like a new woman. Congratulations to you as well. Definitely. Listen to great episodes on the podcast. If you're not listening, go check them out. All right. Check out the podcast. Stay strong in your energy. Let's take a moment, pulling it together. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Wherever you are, be strong in what you do. Know your voice. Have compassion in your heart. Tap into your spirit. Attract all that you need to. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Sending energy out to you for an amazing week. Release the excess energy. Open up to your path 
your purpose with compassion for yourself and all those around you. Thanks again for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.